Hi, this is Gary. On episode number 400 of MacMost Now, let's take a look at file sharing with the iPad. So I've been asked this a few times over the last few weeks. How do you share files with the iPad? After all, with applications like Pages and Numbers, how do you create files on the iPad and then get them to your Mac or vice versa? Well, there's two different ways to do that. One of them involves using a new feature of iTunes. Let's take a look. So here I've synced my iPad with my Mac. Now I have sync apps turned off because this isn't the account that I usually use to sync with my iPad. But that doesn't matter because if I go to the Apps tab anyway with my iPad selected, I can scroll to the bottom of the Apps tab and there's file sharing here at the bottom. Now file sharing has a list of all the apps that have files to share and you can select one. So for instance, if I select Pages, I can see all the Pages documents that I have on my iPad. And this is the equivalent to if I would look inside of Pages and scroll through all the documents there. Now, I can drag and drop these to the Finder, so I can just drag them to the desktop right here, and it will transfer immediately. So there it is. There's no need to resync or do anything. It does the transfer right there. I can also transfer documents into the iPad. So let's, for instance, select Numbers, and I can drag this Numbers document from my desktop here into this area and it will transfer immediately to the iPad. Now that's not the only way to transfer files. Some applications have come up with all sorts of different ways. For instance, let's take a look at Goodreader, which is a document viewer. And here you can have all sorts of documents stored inside Goodreader. And the way you get them there is either using the technique I showed before through iTunes or doing it all sorts of different ways. For instance, you can use web downloads. You can browse the web. So if you have a web server, you can put documents there and then you could find them here and download them into Goodreader. Another way it does it is using this connect to servers function. And you can add different types of servers. So for instance, you can add some mail servers, mobile me's iDisk. You can add Google Docs, Dropbox, Box.net, lots of other services like that, or even just a standard FTP server. You could also use a Wi-Fi feature and here it gives you the ability basically to enter in this IP address in file sharing in your Mac and then you'll be able to see Goodreader running on your iPad on your Mac as basically a shared drive connected over Wi-Fi. Then you can transfer documents to and from that folder. So you can do file sharing completely wirelessly this way. So when Goodreader or one of these other networked applications wants you to establish a connection with it, what you need to do on your Mac is go to Go, connect to Server in the Finder, and then type the IP address that it shows you in the iPad app. Tap Connect, and then it will connect to the iPad over your Wi-Fi. Here I'm going to Log in as a guest since there's no password option. There's no need for one since it's on my local network. And then it will bring up a finder window and show me all the files there that Goodreader has on the iPad. So I'm actually looking at the Goodreader directory on the iPad. I can drag files out of this and I can also drag files into it and it will be added to Goodreader. And this is done completely wirelessly. Here I've got my iPad and it's just doing the sync right now live. So there are three primary ways to transfer files back and forth between your iPad. The first is to use iTunes. The second is to use some sort of built-in functionality in the specific app to connect with something like Dropbox, MobileMe, or an FTP server. And the third is to use Wi-Fi sharing if the app supports it. And apps like AirSharing and Goodreader do. So now that we've reached 400 episodes, I want to take a moment to thank everybody who supported the show. Thanks so much. Got some great things in store for you. More videos, of course. There's another book coming out about the iPad shortly and all sorts of new ideas and things that I've got for MacMost.com. Thanks for watching. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.